Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. This is Kim's Beauty Basics. I'm Kim, of course, and I have a haul for you today from a store that you might not expect. So I have a haul from Forever 21. So most people wouldn't expect a makeup haul from Forever 21, but last weekend I went to Forever 21 and I looked in at my local one and they had a lot of makeup. I started looking through it, a girl comes up to me, lets me know it's 30% off, and I thought to myself, what better time than now to try some Forever 21 makeup? So I decided to pick up a couple things. I tried to look, it took me a long time, honestly. I was probably there swatching things for like 20 minutes and the girls were looking at me like, Jeez, this girl takes makeup way too seriously. I had seen a review by Laura Lee, I believe, that um, she went through some Forever 21 makeup and like some uh, hits and misses on their eyeshadows because she had already done a review. I was like, meh, whatever, I'll stay away from those. So I decided to go towards some more lip products. So we'll find out together what's worth it or if it's just a gimmick or if Forever 21 is really bringing it on the makeup front in 2017, 2018. If you end up liking this video, hit that like button down below. It really helps me out. And if you wanna see more of my content, then just hit that subscribe button. That's all for me, let's get right into this uh, review. All right, so obviously I'm in Canada, so these prices are Canadian. I purchased four items from Forever 21 Beauty section. My total was $14 even, which is a weird number for us with the uh, tax. So first I grabbed this liquid eyeshadow, which is in the shade Dusty Pink, and it was $4.83 Canadian. Uh, then I purchased uh, two lip glosses. The first one was this one here, which is in the shade Chestnut, and it is a high shimmer. This is a high shimmer lip gloss uh, in the shade uh, chestnut and it was $1.33. The other lip gloss I got was in the shade taupe. It's a high shine lip gloss instead of the high shimmer. It was $1.33 as well. So this is the shade taupe. The other one was chestnut. And then finally I got the faux eyelashes uh, in black. They don't, oh here, they have the shade 320. It's a holographic package. Actually a lot of this packaging is kind of holographic, so it's kind of hard to like read it on camera. It looks a little funny. The lashes were $4.90 in case I didn't say that, and this is all Canadian with the 30% off and total of $14 for all four items. So pretty good deal. And again, they were kind of looking at me like, girl, you're not getting any clothes from Forever 21. And I was like, Forever 21 is just hit or miss for me. So sometimes I go in there and I buy a bunch of stuff and sometimes I go in there and I'm like, I shouldn't come back here. Like this is not my store, but it changes all the time. So that's why I end up coming back all the time. And this time I just decided to get some beauty products. So, so the first thing I'll get into is that liquid eyeshadow in the shade Dusty Pink. It's a liquid metallic eyeshadow. It's regularly $6.90 Canadian. So this is the packaging. I'll just show you up close. So it's like a doe foot applicator there. The handle I will say is super lightweight. Like this plastic is so light. Like you can tell it's it's pretty cheap, but that's okay. It's Forever 21. It was cheap. Kitten Karma is from Steel It's the liquid eyeshadows from them. So here's the swatch. This obviously is Kitten Karma. It's a lot more opaque. And then this is the dusty pink liquid eyeshadow from Pro 21. It's still shining, but it's a lot more clear. So I've zoomed you guys in. We are going to apply it to our eyes. I've just done a neutral eye look. We're gonna go in and add this just to basically the lash line and like lid. Okay, so that is one layer there. It definitely like shows the shadow that you have underneath a lot more. I don't see much pink. This is only one layer, so we will go in with more. I'm just gonna let it dry for a second. Okay, so going in for another layer. Okay, so that's two coats. I really don't think I'm gonna get any more glitter really on there. It seemed to just move around a little bit. It looks a little patchy. So this is the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Dusty Pink on my eyelids here. It's a look. Do I love it? No, maybe not. Now we are gonna do lashes. I love the packaging. I love the holographic packaging. It's so cute. But anyway, this is in the number 320. So obviously they do have other styles. I just didn't see them in the store that I was at. So I just say faux eyelashes and that's pretty much it. These are the eyelashes here so you can see. I'm just working the eyelashes and trying to like bend the um, band right now. So I applied the lashes to both eyes here. I did not cut them at all. I just applied them as is. First impressions are they're a little bit hard to work with. I did have to really like 
bend the ban a lot to get it to maneuver a little bit better. Otherwise, if you don't, it's going to be like you put one edge on and one edge pops off or you're going to do the vice versa. So definitely try to really bend that edge and really like soften it up and then apply them. Like to me, when I look at them, I find like this one here looks longer on the inside than this one here. And I didn't do them backwards or anything like that. It would be impossible to do. Like if I did both backwards, they would both at least be the same. But yeah, one side, this side seems a little bit shorter than this side here them toward the center and also they are very stiff like if I touch them they just feel so plasticky but overall like the, the, the look looks okay so I spent four dollars and ninety cents Canadian uh, with 30% off on these eyelashes honestly they don't look plasticky but they feel plasticky all right so now we are going to uh, watch these two liquid lipsticks so i'm not a good swatcher guys but this is the shade chestnut here in the high shimmer lip gloss and then this is the shade taupe in the, the high shine lip gloss so this one has some glitter in it and then this one has um just like a shine so we're gonna go in with this uh chestnut shade uh which is the high shimmer one that has the it looks like pink and red and gold kind of like um glitter in it and we're just gonna apply These are like super pigmented. I didn't expect it to be this pigmented. All right, so just looking at it on, it does apply quite nicely. It does have a lot more pigment than I thought. It gives your lips a little bit of a pinky uh, glow to it. And it definitely does have, have a lot of shimmer and like a shine to it. I will say it is kind of thick, so you can definitely feel it on your lips. It's not like a lip gloss where you don't feel anything or anything like that. Overall, it's not too tacky, so that's nice. I hate when the glass, like um, the old MAC lip glasses were so tacky. I think um, it has a vanilla scent to it. We're gonna take this one off and then go in with um, the High Shine lip gloss next. So we're going in with the shade Taupe and let's see how it applies. definitely has a lot of pigment I love it like this color is great I like that it's like you can actually tell I put something on my lips but it just like looks shinier a little bit more plump I would say and yeah I like the color it's nice brown brown taupe it really is like showing up on my lips I would say this has more pigment than the shimmers so the high shimmer has a little bit less pigment and more glitter um, this one was easier to get like color payoff with less product I would say my lips don't feel as heavy as they did with the high shimmer as well so I would say this is my favorite formula out of the two this one again does smell it is the vanilla e scent um, as the other lip gloss so just keep that in mind all right so done with the swatching and lip glosses and eyeshadows and lashes and we'll just go straight to my final thoughts guys just to recap we did four products from forever 21 I have the liquid eyeshadow in the shade dusty pink I have the eyelashes on in the sh um, number 320 and then I have the lip gloss on in the shade taupe I tried their high shimmer lip gloss as well in the shade chestnut so overall thoughts I definitely love this lip gloss <laughs> I love this um, taupe uh, lip gloss I think it is awesome I think it honestly to me from the swatches that I've done in store at Sephora is a great dupe for the Fenty Beauty lip gloss. I think you'll like it. I think it'll look great on a lot of skin tones. It has pigment, but not too much pigment, and it's a nice neutral color. So I think the lip gloss is awesome. It does have a scent, vanilla scent, so just keep that in mind if you don't if you hate scents, then this might not be for you. But if you don't, then this is an awesome product. The let's go to the liquid eyeshadow now. The liquid eyeshadow, I would say, is Definitely not a dupe for the Stila Glitter and Glow. It does have a lot of glitter, so if you want to apply glitter without a glitter glue and um, you don't mind that it's kind of sheer, then this is okay. Personally, I think I could live without it. I think I would pass on this liquid eyeshadow. It's a little too sheer for me. And then finally, the eyelashes. They're a little... I would say the band is a little bit too stiff. It was hard to work with, and it also... Um, they just don't feel that great on the eyes. They're kind of heavy and very plasticky. And then like I told you, you probably maybe picks up on camera that this side seems a little bit longer here than this side at the same spot. So my eyes look a little wonky, I would say. So not my favorite. I'd recommend just going to your local drugstore and picking up some Ardell lashes for a couple bucks more. My number one recommendation out of here is this lip gloss that I'm wearing. And if you can, pick it up. It's awesome. And there might be some other Forever 21 products that I will explore in the future. So 
I definitely think like this didn't turn me off from it. I hope that you learned a little bit. If you have any questions though, just ask me down below in the comments. So again, if you like this video, want to hit that like button down here, that'd really help me out. Hit that subscribe button down below as well to see more of my content and keep up with my videos. And if you want to follow me on social media, I have my social media handles here and you have links down below in the description box. If you want to click and follow me, I would love to connect with you. Just so you know, um, for all my videos, I try my best to uh, put any makeup products that I used on my face um, in the description box below. I just try to list the products. If you have any questions about um, any of the specific like shades or anything like that, just ask me, but I try to put as much information down there as possible because I'm not trying to hide information. I'm trying to share information with you. Hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world, and I hope to see you very, very soon.